everyone, Doris Colgate here. I'm sitting here with Steve Colgate. We're starting a new series that's gonna be on the Offshore Sailing School Facebook page called Hashtag Dockside Chats with Steve. So we're gonna get Steve started. These are vignettes that we're, are gonna show up in a book that we're writing. But for now, we're gonna just talk to you. So Steve, tell us about the experience you had when you lost a rudder in a race at sea. This was a transatlantic race uh, from Newport, Rhode Island to Eddystone Light off the coast of England in 1963, quite a, quite a while ago. And uh, we uh, had gotten quite a lead because uh, uh, decided to make a tactical decision to go north of Martha's Vineyard and north of, uh, of Van, Van Nantucket to get out of, uh, to get out away from the land and we built up quite a lead. Uh, that lead sort of dissipated when we lost our rudder. We had been sailing all night long uh, in fairly heavy winds. I was watch captain uh, on one watch and the owner of one of uh, Clayton Ewing's uh, factories, Lynn Williams was the other watch captain. And uh, the, the fact was that uh, around oh, like 4 a.m. or so, uh, I decided that we ought to, the wind was lightening a little bit, I decided we ought to get uh, our spinnaker set. It was a 2.2 ounce spinnaker, it was what we call the, the bulletproof spinnaker, and uh, we set it and everything was in pretty good shape, I thought, and I went down below when we were off watch and uh, went to sleep. Well, lo and behold, about oh, a few hours later, I, I'm w I wake up because of a big brooch that we did. We're leaning way over and we're, everything's creaking and groaning. And uh, I rush up on deck and, uh, and I hear someone saying, you know, help at the helm, help at the helm. So I ran up to the helm uh, and, as, and started pulling uh, to knowing it was a brooch, knowing that we needed to go downwind uh, I was on the leeward side. I was pulling uh, down to to go downwind, uh, and I, my eyes became accustomed to the darkness. And there were two guys on the other side of the wheel pulling in the opposite direction. And that uh, was when we re really discovered that uh, that uh, we lost the rudder. So, in the next episode, Steve's going to tell us what happened after that episode was lost.